Hey, welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leading towards a singularity. I'm Nathan Waters. And I'm Tristan Grace. They like got very yokel towards the end. Da 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 da. Yeah. Oh, it's been an awesome week. We're gonna do a few stories, but then, you know, uh, yeah, just get into it. Uh oh, I lost my power. Oh. It's that good. Yeah, we've got WikiLeaks and we've got Chromium. They're the two big ones at the moment. We'll only speak a little bit about WikiLeaks, but uh, Chromium and the actual uh, Chrome uh, computer going out, so that's the awesome one. Yeah, uh, guess we'll just go straight into it. Yeah, yeah, why not? Just... Okay, well, the first one, just a, a nice uh, story uh, going up from not last week, but the week before. Um, the Connect, and the Connect now has hacked it to actually be just like the Minority Report interface with each exactly. fingers. Each nice. finger. So you've got lines coming off each finger and you can detect it and go that way. And yeah, so there we go. We've got the we've got the minority report UI. Like I mean there was the you know <laughs> the TED talk and stuff. There is a TED version of it. Everyone was very impressed by that. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool, but just not scalable, whereas this perfectly scalable. But now the Great. question is what UI can actually use ten fingers. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's true, that's true. When would you ever need to use 10 fingers and be able to work that out with your brain separately? Like, do We that. need holograms. You can actually manipulate holograms that way. Oh, you like 3D. Yeah, grab stuff, you can make it easier for your grandma to actually understand how to use a computer. I want to grab that. I want to do that. You know, she'd be a bit... It'd get a bit weird. I don't, I don't think... Yeah, <laughs> it'd get weird. It'd get hard with you holding so your hands up because I think that's the, the difficult thing. Yeah. Reminds me of that. There was a UI design and I'm... It's a pain in the ass that I'm saying this because I'm going to have to find it. Where um, you actually use different fingers to uh, do it all. Depending on the amount of fingers you have on a screen, it was when touch screens were really big and it used it all that way. That might be transferable over to uh, to the 10 fingered approach. But uh, yeah, check out this video. Really cool because uh, we've got Minority Report stuff Sweet, in cheap yeah. consumer devices thanks to MIT. Sweet. Um, what was I going to talk about? Uh, Wiki? WikiLeaks? Yeah. WikiLeaks! Okay. WikiLeaks, oh man, you, you've, I'm, I'm sure you've heard all, it's been it's across the stuff. world. Yeah, WikiLeaks is everywhere. But, um, it's good fun. And then Julian Assange, Australian, hells yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm going to regret that. That. <laughs> yeah, that was really bad. Anyway, he's in jail at the moment. Over a, uh, what is it, surprise sex. Surprise sex. Literally, that's the name of the, the oh, infringement no. that he's apparently being charged for. Yeah. But they're going to be extraditing him to the US soon. Yeah. Maybe. That's the rumor. So, you know, they're, they're trying to get him on espionage, so. Yeah. That, that's fun, but it's uh, just awesome what's actually happened. That, uh, yeah. 25, the amount of stuff that he's leaked, the amount of crazy things, my God. Just the impact of it. Like, each one of them could be their own, be its own yeah, story. So yeah, but... I think that's why they're releasing them so slowly. Like they yeah, they released out. like a one thousandth of the. I think they've released a thousand stories, yeah. and there's like two hundred fifty thousand. It's, it's changing really all the time. Yeah. So what, what do you think this means? It's, Tell me what you think it means. I think tra age of transparency is the big thing. Yeah. Like it, ignoring all the specifics, like all the stuff that's happening. Yeah. If if this actually catches on and more and more people start leaking more and more information, then it's still, it's going to start holding accountable all the organizations and governments of the world. Everything, yeah. We can start testing it against what they and say and what's actually been released. Yeah. And I think that's going to be a big thing that because uh, anyone now can ha who has access to data can actually see it. It's so easy for them to get a hold of it. And if WikiLeaks and a, a site like that becomes popular as you want to share something like really big, like you want to whistleblow and all of that, yeah. just chuck it to just this go site. to one site, yeah. yeah. Whereas before, where, like, what would you have really done? Where would you go? Because it was a little bit more difficult. Like, I mean, you had the Pentagon Papers and all of that, but they were very um, specific and really, yeah. you can't get it out to everyone. Whereas now, you, you can't stop the information. Yeah. You can't stop Whereas now, you just need one individual to be able to leak That's anything, it. and that can change the world. Like, yeah. I think this actually will, because governments... Oh, it's, it's changed the world. It has. It, it has already. I'm guessing that... You know, it might have just changed the world in the sense that they've just made all their information more secure. Well, true. There, there is going to be a backlash <laughs> against that, and that's what I can't wait to see, because this is going to be a very yeah. important to see how the, the backlash is controlled, what the USA does. Like, the person who's working on uh, Julian's case, like the actual prosecutor, mm -hmm. he's going to be one of the most important people in the history of the world, I think, just just yeah. going here, that what they can actually do against this guy. Well, that's a rumor I've been hearing, that they'll just use all this stuff to actually kind of come up with new laws to yeah. to lock down the internet even more. And it'll be interesting to see how that goes, because I, I, it I don't think it'll work, no. Ooh. But it might frighten people, and it might get to that place that people start becoming really terrified, and then that might lead to another actually backlash against people saying, rise up and riot against yeah. how dare, I'm just sharing a picture, you know, you know, the whole sexting and all of that, and all the other weird stuff. It's, yeah. I'm allowed to share my information. We might get a whole new movement about freedom of information. Like, at the moment, it's fringe. Freedom of information sharing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just all information should be out there with, I mean, of course, within <laughs> reason. But, uh, 
I like how it's, it's almost turned into like a massive cyber war. Mm. It's like the internet versus the establishment. That's great. This, the internet has been like, you know, it's been hindering on the establishment for so long. Oh, yeah. And now it's like, ha ha, now we know everything about what you do in your government. <laughs> and they're like, oh, damn you. <laughs> What's the first, he's, he's the first cyberpunk hero. Like, there's been other guys, but he's like the first, you know, real one. Yeah. Even looks like with his pasty white hair and all of that. It's like, ah. Oh. And they've got the anonymous wars. Like, yeah, anonymus taking out MasterCard, Visa, MasterCard, PayPal. Yeah. Oh my god, it is. That, that is cool. It's machine rising up and saying, <laughs> no, we want our information. You don't take information from us. You don't have that right. Yeah. <laughs> but see, the interesting thing, if, we, will this actually continue as a trend or is it just going to be like, there's, there's, there's going to like, be a backlash. But I haven't really felt that there's, every single cable that's come out, there's been like a massive, there should have mm. been a massive impact. Like, oh my god. But this, I think there has. It's huge. I think it's been massive. It's just we, we don't know about it right now because it'll I be felt in later on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I, th I think, yeah, the, the ripples are going out there because it's against the top and like it doesn't mean much to you and I because it's not directly impacting our life, but yeah. just the stuff that it does <laughs> impact is very... I guess it'd be a bit like, um, <laughs> think about it in reverse, rather than doing government's measure, doing personal situations. You know how in personal, in social groups, you always have, people don't admit to it, but everyone talks about everyone else behind their backs. Do they? I swear it happens. What do you say about me? I, everything. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the grey hair and everything. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And imagine if you did that in reverse and someone came out with like all these these all this information <laughs> saying, hey, so-and-so said this about so-and-so. Here's that, what they think of them. Here's yeah. what they think of that. And that came out. That, that would totally have change us. your relationship. Like, you're yeah. like, people are saying that about me? Really? Well, it's like, it's like uh, what is it, Vladimir Putin and he's uh, the other guy. Like mm. Batman and Robin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the US sees them as Batman and Robin, and they're like, I hate that, that's, you know, that's discriminatory. Uh, it's it's, it's or whatever. funny. Yeah, that's a good point. It would be interesting that that, that is kind of the same way that it's being yeah. released. It's just that they're government just the power players but... that are doing it. Oh, you can yeah. use this information so well against them as well. I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I've, I've game, never... game theory, political game theory oh, is going to yeah. change dramatically from this. Ah, oh, it's going to be great. There's a, another rally tomorrow yeah. and, uh, up in Sydney. Australia, but, yeah. Yeah, and oh, the next big thing is Bank of America, apparently. Yeah, so like, interesting to see how that goes. Enron out. style takedown is the rumor. That'll be good. So we'll have to speak about that when that comes up again. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's enough on that one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll go to the next one. This is just a really brief article uh, about about the Singularity University. And it's about this guy. He's a, he's a writer for TechCrunch. Well, he's got a difficult name. Vivek Wadhawa. Maybe. Um, yeah, just saying that he was uh, losing a little bit of uh, faith in Silicon Valley because of, uh, you know, it's all Facebook applications and Twitter. Not uh, was a Twitter bubble at the moment. I swear it's a bubble. Oh, it is. It's, 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 new, burst. it's the new big bubble. But it was saying that, yeah, actually going to the Singularity University, like reinvigorating him and saying that, yeah, this is where the future is. This is where all the stuff's going. Yeah. And again, hitting the mainstream. I was expecting, like, going into the comments and that, everyone rallying against it, saying it's stupid, like all of that, but amazingly positive. Like and it. yeah, I thought that was just fantastic. So, I don't know, this article made me go, oh, hell yeah, Singularity, like, you know, reinvigorated. I mean, we've spoken about, we've accepted these, like, ideas. Accept his ideas, that's weird. <laughs> but, uh, you know, acknowledge his ideas for such a long time now that when rediscovering them again is, is lots of fun. I don't know. There's like focus on exponential increases. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Yeah. There's a lot of positive reinforcement. Well, yeah. But it's... you're not. But hopefully you're not. You know that crazy insane guy. That oh, I definitely am. Like... I'm the grey insane <laughs> dude. It's good fun. Yeah. Ow. No, I mean, we we can we can back up a lot of the theories. It's just a matter of time. Oh, okay. I can get crazier it's than this. Shit. Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just watch me take off my shirt. Please don't. <laughs> Okay, next big, big, big one. This is going to be our main topic. We'll get today. into the... Yeah. And we've been following this for quite a long time, like, um, and kind of predicting, you know, this is where it's going to be going for quite... Like, I think mm. 2007 is... I can... There's a post... Whereas there's a post where I'm like, this will happen. Mm. It's happening. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, Chrome OS. They've just kind of... They've just announced it. Like, they've been working on it for a while and it's been out there, but they've just announced that... They're actually doing a pilot program where you they give essentially giving away free netbooks mm -hmm. running Chrome OS, um, but they're, they're mainly they're hitting the mainstream or hitting the main market I think next year. Yeah. Um, but but the brilliant thing is, uh, I think everyone's been predicting that yeah, web OS is going to be the way of the future. I mean, we're starting to use more and more web apps mm -hmm. more than desktop apps. I mean, every time you, you log into your your mm. computer, the first thing you do is browser. Yeah. You most of the time you don't want any of the other shit. 
But the brilliant thing I think about Chrome OS and why I think it's going to be brilliant is just their implementation strategy. Yeah, well, because the Chrome OS is just, it's just the browser. Like when you load up, when you first start up the, the Chrome OS, the, the Chrome computer and Chromium and stuff, it's just the browser. Chrome. It's yeah. Chrome. It's Chrome. There's nothing else. You don't have any, like Starbucks, no anything like that. It's You just load straight into Chrome. Yeah. Everything's in Chrome. So there'll be no learning curve. Apparently Chrome mm. already has 120 million users. Mm. They're growing like on the next exponential curve if you look at their things. All right. Um, Oh, what's the other thing? And the brilliant... Uh, they've, they've just launched the Chrome Web Store and this is kind of like the, the kicker. Uh, this, is the, this is what they're doing. It, when you look at it, you're like, what the fuck? Why? This is stupid. But what they're doing is it's a web store much like... And they're calling it... Uh, they're calling them apps. Like, install your apps much like the iPhone did. Popularize. Mm -hmm. Hey, you see, install yeah. an app. But these apps aren't apps in a sense. Like, they aren't iPhone apps. They're just literally websites. They're links to websites. Links to websites that look and feel like apps. Like, you know, GrooveShark. You go to GrooveShark.com. That's on here. Yep. You go to, uh, what was the other one? Um, uh, TweetDeck, for example. And yep. that's literally on, uh, it's on a site. New York um, Times. Just New York Times. Slash, uh, yeah. slash Chrome, I think. Yeah. That's, uh, that's and But, but when you actually, what you actually do is to actually use the app, you install it. Yeah. Install it. Install the app, which doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it gets into people's psyche and that's what's great. It's like, that's, oh, uh, that's why the implementation is so fucking. Whoever, Google, whoever thought of this, you guys are amazing. It's pretty damn great. It's better than this is bookmark. Who bookmark stuns things anymore? Because that's essentially what it is. It's yeah, a great way to bookmark with different stuff. But now you can buy websites like, um, as well, which is kind of now nice. when I open up a new tab, the top thing is all the apps I've installed, mm. and literally all they are is like, so I've got New York Times, so I go to New York Times, nytimes.com slash Chrome. But it's an installed app with its own little icon. So hmm. it's training people like, because people are used to with a desktop to have an icon, you double click on it, it opens. Yeah. This is the same thing. You open a new tab, you're like, oh, what app do I want? You know, the spring pad, uh, clicker TV, Huffington Post, Sports Illustrated. Yeah. Uh, there's lots, I didn't got Reddit, but that was just weird. It all does it goes to the Reddit site. Yeah, so that's, that's it. It's exactly. <laughs> but it's the Reddit app.